Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple form with the software IP board version 3.3. Right, so let's get started. First thing what we want to do is go to triple zero webhost.com. If you don't have an account then you can sign up with this just click on this button here and it'll take you to the sign up page. It'll have all the information, go to your email, activate it and then come back here and then just click on members area and fill out the information again once you've logged in if you've never used it, triple zero web host before you should see a page like this just uh, click on create new and make a subdomain if you if you don't have a proper domain, I don't have a proper domain, so I'm gonna make a subdomain. So, YouTube test and my password. And if it keeps, if it says building here, just click, keep clicking on refresh status, and eventually, it, eventually, you'll go to this. Go to see panel. Once you've clicked on go to cPanel, you're going to want to go to MySQL on under software and services and make a database. So, I'm going to call mine admin. Not, yeah, yeah. Admin. Admin. Once you've done that, just click on go back to see uh, control panel and then scroll down to files and click on view FTP details. It, what this does is this logs into your FTP. So if you don't have an FTP, I'd recommend recommended FTP clients are already here. I use by FileZilla. Just click on the FileZilla, it'll bring you to this page download but if you fancy using smart FTP then just click on there and I'll bring you to this download page. So I'll put, I have FileZilla because I think it's better. So I'm just going to sign in. Just copy the yeah, FTP host name. <coughs> Sorry I'm ill today so I'm going to be doing that quite a lot. So just copy your FTP host name into and click on your host up here and paste it in. Now your FTP username just copy that as well and also paste that in your username at the top here and then just type in your password and it doesn't matter about the port, leave that blank just sign in you should see two files on one folder in here just delete the do not upload file and then enter the directory of your public html and you should see another two files in here this is where you're going to need to download the IP board 3.3, which I have right here. So, just open it up and you should see a file in there called Upload. Click on that and then you should see all these other file files and folders. Press Ctrl A and drag them to your file, uh, your FTP client. And in the directory with these two files in, in the public HTML directory, put them in there. As you can see, for the queued files, there's 4,000, there's over 4,000 files. So I'm, it's going to take quite a long time. So I'm going to pause the video until it's complete, and I'll see you in one second. Welcome back, to YouTube. As you can see, all the files have finished uploading. Now what you can close this, yeah, IP file. Okay. And what you're going to want to do is go back to your triple zero web account, go back to your main page, and as you can see under account information, you you have your domain. Just click on your domain or copy it into a new tab, and you should see a page like this: installation page for my P, my BB, I mean IP board dot three point three. Sorry if I'm stuttering. Just sign up to this fit installation and all that. 
on this page your, your db details what you're going to want to do is just go back to your just click on your web host account and go down to software and services and click on mysql again now a mysql host underneath it you should see mysql your number triple zero web host.com copy it and paste it to where the local host is now for your database name just copy it underneath it underneath mysql database just copy whatever's underneath there into there now you at mysql user co also copy that and paste it into sql username and put your sql password in what you used for um, for create your database and my and sql table prefix just leave it blank and my sql table type uh, my my isam leaves us on. Click next. Now you're going to create your administrative account. So I'm going to use admin. Oh my god, admin. Password. Boom, password. And my email address. And once you've done that, just hit next again. And you should say it should be on the installation page. The installer is now ready to install. Now just click on the installation. Start installation. Button. There's uh, 13 steps. The user finish is quite quick, but for de depending on the speed of the internet, it can also take quite long as well. <coughs> just wait for this install. As you can see, it's on step 4, well, step 5 out of 13. It goes quite quick sometimes. In my next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a theme to it. So, watch that. Um, I'll try and get that uh, shout box as well for the editorial. But if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe, comment, and like the video. I'm not going there. installation complete now to get to your your forum page just click on this link here and it'll take you to your invasion power button because this is a, t a tutorial I'm going to show you what the the admin control panel looks like as well Quite nice, but 
like I said in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add themes to it. So yeah, this is what the, the, the admin control panel looks like. It's quite nice. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like I said before, please subscribe, rate, comment, and like the video. Thanks.